Well, welcome to The Black Madonna Speaks on the Heart of the Black Madonna YouTube channel. I'm your host, Stephanie George, and I'm so pleased to share this time with you. And it's kind of interesting. I'm doing some videos covering some of the more famous Black Madonnas, and I witnessed these Madonnas during the last economic meltdown. Uh, we didn't apparently have a global pandemic going on in that time, but it was still a pretty nervous time. And I had the privilege of going to see Our Lady of Montserrat right as the world was collapsing. So it, it was an interesting time, and I think it's an interesting time to reflect. So as I'm revisiting these journeys, some of those memories are coming back. And this really is an amazing, image i hope you can go visit there at the time of this recording spain is really struggling with uh, the pandemic so we'll please send them and everyone some prayers now uh, this image uh, is in a shrine of montserrat and it's near barcelona and the catalogian region of Spain, Catalonian, excuse me. And the history of origins of these statues varies. Legend places her genesis at the hands of St. Luke the Evangelist and has her carried to the European continent by St. Peter, so one of the original evangelists. Um, and original apostles. Art historians claim that the statue is from the 11th century. Other accounts tell us that this statue was a native of Jerusalem given to Saint Entero, who was a disciple of Saint James. And Saint James is the martyr. He was also one of the 12 apostles that inspired the formation of the Camino de Santiago de Compostela. St. James' bones are entombed in a great cathedral in the coastal city of Santiago de Compostela. St. Entero is thought to have brought this statue to Barcelona in the first Christian century. Some accounts place the statue at being placed in a cave in the heart of Montserrat in 718, as the locals feared for her safety during the Saracen invasion at the time. The image seemed to disappear from the history books, but not from the imagination of the locals. The next part of the narrative states that sometime in the decade of the 800s, a miracle occurred. Some sources say it happened in 808, others 888, and still others say 890. The legend states that a group of shepherds from the village of Monistrol were tending their flock at night at the foothills of Montserrat. The shepherds saw lights and heard singing coming from the mountains. This was witnessed for several nights in a row, prompting the shepherds to alert a local priest who joined them on the following nights. He witnessed the same lights and sounds and reported the phenomena to the Bishop of Barcelona, who later witnessed the miracle in person. A search party was launched, which found the statue of Our Lady of Montserrat in a cave on the side of the mountain. The statue currently on view for the public may have been introduced in the 12th and 13th century. And if you go to the shrine, uh, there's a wonderful uh, group like a multi-experience ticket that you can buy where it takes you on a train from Barcelona to Monistrol and then you get on a funicular and you go up and I don't know if you can see it I can certainly see it you can see the shrine at the top of the picture right underneath um, those two steel bars and what I thought was really interesting when I was going up there is you get on this funicular but you can't see the ropes or the cables leading up there so it's almost like you're flying up you just sort of have to trust that you get there uh, so I thought that was really interesting and 
uh, as I said before, here is the shrine. And this is actually part of the Camino de Compostela, um, Camino de Santiago de Compostela. And this is actually on the western side of the Iberian Peninsula. And what we do know is that this area is an area that used to uh, have what are called the ancient the Venus mystery traditions. And these, you can see why it's called Montserrat, which is Sawtooth Mountain. Now, as I said before, this is part of the Camino de Compostela, de Santiago, and there's all sorts of theories as to why this statue is black. This apparently is the area where all the shepherds witnessed the light coming out from the mountain. And Montserrat uh, is one of the top three best candidates along with Monsignor and Glastonbury for the sanctuaries of the Holy Grail. And I think this is really a, a wonderful thing. If you go into the inside of the cathedral, and this is the inside of the cathedral, the image is all the way at the top of the nave. You can see a little dark dot up there. Um, but it's really wonderful and every day uh, there's a famous music school that's located at the shrine and the boys choir comes out and sings even song. It's absolutely gorgeous. And when you go up this long flight of stairs where you can go and see her, this is what it looks like. One of her feet is poking through plus a hand holding the orb and you can touch that. The rest of it is enclosed in a glass panel. And I just absolutely loved going here. It was so beautiful. The statue has a lot of history. She was an inspirer to the Spanish people throughout all their trials and tribulations, throughout many, many, many trials. And if you would like to read more about this mysterious and interesting image, you can read my book, The Black Madonna, Mysterious Soul Companion, and it's available through Barnes and Noble, Audible, and Amazon.com. You can look at the description below for information on ordering and go to my book launch page. And this is a picture of the Camino near Montserrat. So I wish you blessings on your journey.